Hello, it's Cynthia, Echo Day Art. Today I have a 24 by 30 canvas. And um, I've seen a picture, I don't know, online. And I like the colors. It was red, yellows, pinks, and orange. I had a little smidget of black and a little smidget of white. So I wanted to do a bloom with those colors. And I've got all my colors mixed up. And I'm going to cover this canvas with some white. Not too much because I'm not going to do a lot of tilting on this one, I don't think. Just mixed up a little bit more of this white, so it's probably going to be a little bit more bubbly than I need it to be. But I don't really want to wait till tomorrow before I get started because I am impatient. Much too impatient to wait. with acrylic paints. I've actually done this many, many years ago before I knew it was a thing. Um, if I felt like I was in a slump, you know, painting with a brush and I couldn't think of anything to paint, sometimes I would just get some paint, some pretty colors together and just smash them on the canvas and just uh, getting into the colors and um, enjoying the colors and the paint flowing, that kind of sometimes can could motivate me to think of something else to paint or, you know, just get me into the groove. So I, I used the pour painting, which I didn't know that's what it was called back then, to kind of, uh, I don't know, like if I hadn't painted in a long time, it would kind of just reunite me with the paint and allow me to uh, dig back in and start doing some brush brush painting. Um, of course, like I said, I didn't know it was a whole um, a whole thing back then. I just did it because I I couldn't think of anything to paint, so I <clears throat> just threw some paints on a canvas. And now I find out many, many years later that it's a whole big thing. I don't know how long it's been a big thing, but I love it. The poor community is absolutely amazing and supportive of each other. Um, you know, there's no real, um, on, the, on the groups that I'm in anyway, I don't see any, um, uh, or the people that I watch, I don't see any like negativity and um, backstabby and you know, um, everybody shares what they know and they give the people that, um, you know, gave them the idea a good shot out. And I just, um, I really do appreciate this poor community because if I did not have them to reference to and go online, I uh, would have probably quit a long, long time ago with trying to do pore painting because when I did it, um, you know, it wasn't about mixing all the paints and stuff like that. It was just about getting lots of colors on the canvas just to kind of get me to um, get back into the groove with my paints, to reunite with my paints. And I, I enjoyed it, you know. And it, it would get me back into the groove. I would, you know, get back into the paint and start going. And I, next thing I know, I'm painting for, you know, three, four hours. So, yeah. 
um, I'm not quite sure how to how to go along go about doing this but I do know that I would like to have some oh gee I just spilled this one well I'm gonna sprinkle this around I spilled it all over my can all over my table And I don't know, I've, I've probably said it a hundred times. I like to have the background to be not all white. Um, I like it to kind of schmooze in with the painting. Um, so that's why I'm putting some little droplets around of some different colors just to kind of mesh it all in together. Well, maybe I should just leave it like that. I was going to kind of squish it all in together, but let's see. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. With the little stripes and the dots. So, I'm not quite sure how to go about doing this, but I'm jumping in head first. I do want some, what do you call, um, negative space. So I want to, this one's a little thick. I'm not gonna put too much of that. I'm not sure if it will flow around. I've got another orange I'm gonna put down anyway. Oopsie, I didn't wanna do all that. colors and I've got a beautiful little pink here and put him go this way and down here and then we have this beautiful hot cinnamon red don't want it to take over. I wasn't going to put the hot cinnamon red, but I love this color, so it's going down. Alright, so for the cell activators, I'm going to just put a little bit of black. Maybe a little bit more than what I wanted. And I'm going to put hope it doesn't get give me too much. Alright, so I've got the cell activator down. And I'm gonna start doing some blowing. I didn't have my ring light on, so I hope <laughs> hope that helps a little bit now that I turned it on. All right, we're gonna go cold air high.
stop while I'm ahead um, getting away from what my goal was here as far as I can push it. Let's see, I think I've seen a little yucky or something over here. Yeah. I really like how I did that little outside um, just to give it a little bit more something in the negative space. But yeah, this is uh, very pretty. It's very, very pretty colors. I'm gonna try this again. This is not quite how I wanted it. I did want to have like a lot more cells, but I have to practice a little bit more with my blowing and trying to make, trying to learn how to do all that stuff so the paint will do what I want to do. But this is it today. Um, again, this is Cynthia with Echo J Art. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. Please come back again. I'll have some more goodies for you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Have a great day.